hello what's up and welcome back to my channel if you are new here thank you for coming and please do get subscribed i am olukule itunu a beauty and lifestyle content creator based in lagos nigeria my returning subscribers thank you so much for coming back again today's video is something you want to keep watching because as a content creator i am definitely sure that you would find this video helpful because in this video i will be recommending my my top five apps for content creation i have been using these apps for quite a while now and they have been so 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 super helpful in helping me create amazing content if this sounds like something you are interested in then you need to keep watching this video and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment at the end and also share this video with someone you think will find it helpful as well so straight one the first app i will be recommending is the canva app now this app is really really an amazing app for designing it's actually a designing app so you can use this app to design your channel intro your channel outro your media kit as a content creator your rate card your thumbnails your e flyers your ebook your cover everything everything at all your logos your cards everything designing this app is an amazing one you can also use it to create your invoice to send to brands when you want to work with them. So you can also use it for your Instagram cover highlights, your Instagram stories and all of that. So as a content creator, I feel you should at least have um, a bit of knowledge on designing and this app is actually amazing. It's beginner friendly. Even if you do not know anything about designing before, this app's interface is amazing. So you can just find your way, you can walk your way around the app conveniently and as you go on, you get to learn more on designing and also you can put in for classes and all of that good stuff and you get better at designing so canva is an amazing app for designing especially for youtube as your thumbnails for content creators in general your red card your media kit your portfolio your cv anything at all just go to that app use it to design because as a startup content creator i do not feel it is wise for you to always give someone else every of your basic designs to help you create them if they are basic designs they are things you should be able to do yourself so that is why i will be recommending this app for you so use canva app for all of your basic designs and if they are not basic then you can give it to a professional to help you do but for your basic designs as a content creator canva is the app for you so this app is 100 percent recommended so the second app i will be recommending in this video is the focus app some of us like our pictures to have that blurry background and all of that but then we do not have um, devices that has the portrait mode so what do we do we have to find an app that will help us to blur the background of our pictures our product pictures and our contents in general so what does this app do this app helps you to blur out the background of your pictures nicely and neatly focus app um, is an an amazing one in the sense that it retains the quality of your pictures it helps you to select where exactly you want to blur out and where you are not going to blur out it helps you control the intensity of the blur effect it like you can increase it or decrease it unlike some other apps that i have tried out i was unable to control the intensity of the blur effect and i do not really like when my picture has so much of that blur effect so this app I've been able to like control it if I want more if I want less it's actually very very nice and you would you wouldn't know it's actually an app I used you would think it is a camera or a phone with portrait mode because this blows out the background of your pictures very very neat and creeps like there is no um line showing there is no outline showing that this is kind of it's like smoothing it and make it so so amazing like so so nice it also helps the main object in your picture be the center of focus so that is why i will be recommending the focus app it is a hundred percent recommended the next app i will be recommending in this video is the peak monkey app so peak monkey app is an amazing app very very similar to canva app but doesn't do so much i 
as the canva app and yeah so what i use pick monkey app to do is i use it to create all of my thumbnails now i when i was using other apps to create my thumbnails they were giving me nice results but i was not so satisfied with them if you go through my channel page you would notice that my thumbnail changed at a point in time the way they look and all of that so i use this app pick monkey to create my thumbnails now and it has been amazing so here is why i choose this app over other apps for editing my thumbnail now this app is actually very very easy to use you can get a lot of effects a lot of shapes a lot of things you want to add to your thumbnail so and the amazing thing about this app is this now on youtube um you cannot upload a thumbnail that is bigger that its size is bigger than 2 mb so when i was using other apps for my um thumbnails i used to have issues of having to find a way to reduce the size of my thumbnails because when i finish adding the effects the text and all of that the fonts and color from other apps it tends to go bigger than 2 mb and this always make the quality of my thumbnail low because after saving when trying to compress the size of the thumbnail the the, the quality just goes off so with pick monkey it has been amazing it doesn't go beyond 2 mb at all it doesn't go beyond 2 mb i've not had an issue where my thumbnail on pick monkey goes beyond 2 MB and I think that is a very very amazing one because it helps retain the quality of your thumbnail so that is why I pick pick monkey over other apps in creating my thumbnail so I recommend this app 100% so the next app I will be recommending in this video is the Adobe Lightroom now Adobe Lightroom is a very very amazing app content creators loves this app so so much now the thing about this app is you can use it to create your preset and all of that thing some content creators like me we like um, our instagram feed to have a particular look like it has this aesthetic if not aesthetic vibe it has this like the same filter going on on every picture so that filter is actually a preset and with adobe lightroom you can do that so the thing about adobe lightroom is when you edit a picture you can save that picture setting like the edit setting so when you save that edit setting just with a single tap you can copy that edit setting and paste it on another picture instead of going um over all the old editing process of bright increasing brightness reducing exposure the highlights the shadows and all of that you just save the edit setting on one picture and import the next picture and copy and paste on that picture and it is so so easy to use it it gives a seamless edit for your pictures like so so quick to use so instead of you doing the copy and paste thing on adobe lightroom you can just edit the picture and when you want to save the settings you can go to the create preset icon instead so when you tap on create preset icon you are automatically saving that edit setting so you just have to give the preset a name of your choice whenever you import another picture you just go to your preset pack like your preset icon and when you go to your preset icon you just tap on the created preset and it automatically reflects on the picture that was imported so that is the amazing thing about adobe lightroom it is a very very quick app to use in editing your pictures fast 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 and it helps you to retain the consistency of the look of your pictures and it also saves the quality of your picture so that is why i love the adobe lightroom app and it is a hundred percent recommended i also use the free version of this app and it's been amazing for some beauty content creators that create makeup content i feel they would want to recommend the airbrush app over the adobe lightroom because with airbrush your makeup look like your makeup pictures can have like a perfect finish when you use all of that smoothness the texture the healing and all of that so um airbrush is an amazing app to edit your makeup 
pictures while you can use adobe lightroom for any of your other pictures so that is my view and i think makeup um, content creators will recommend airbrush over lightroom but both apps are amazing apps so i recommend them 100 percent so the next app i will be recommending in this video is a video editing app we've been talking about picture editing apps all the while so now it's time for video editing app it's actually very very easy to use and it's so so amazing i know the app is not in short in short is an amazing app yeah it is beginner friendly and it is actually packed as a free app if you use the free version the paid version is also nice but i have not used the paid version before i use just the free version of this app the app i will be recommending in this video which is not in short is the cap cut app now this app is an amazing app i am so so much in love with at the moment so cap cut app is really really packed and it's free so the only thing about this app is you have to use your internet connectivity when using this app to be able to access some effects some transition some text templates stickers and all of that stuff we use in videos to edit so you have to use your internet connectivity and i think this is actually better it is actually cool when you use your internet connectivity over subscribing on a monthly basis so i think that is actually cool for me so i think that is actually cool for me so on cap court it is an amazing app you get a lot of amazing effects so i've been using cap Cut for all of my instagram videos um recently and people have been like loving it at the moment they've been like your editing is nice your this is that so i stopped using in shots for my instagram um videos because i think cap cut has more potentials than in shot app probably because i am using the free version of the in shot app but then cap cut has more potentials than the in shot app for me so for my youtube videos i use both apps to um edit my videos this is why i use both apps on in short i i love the cut and join thing over there it is way easier to use and so quick to use but i do not like to do my cut and join on cap cut all i do on cap cut for my youtube content is just adding special effects like when i do not want my text on the screen to look too basic i switch to using cap cuts for that and some nice transitions if i do not want basic transitions that in shots gives to me so that is why i use both apps for my youtube videos in shots for my cuts and join and cap cuts for every other thing let me know which of these apps you will be trying out and also let me know which of these apps you use at the moment and if you have any app suggestion that you think i didn't mention in this video but you are loving the app at the moment please do recommend it in the comment section someone might come across it and decide to try it out and fall in love with it so there is nothing bad in actually sharing because content creators are looking for a way to upskill they are looking for a way to get better at their content in this year i will be glad if you can share your recommendations in the comment section so these apps i use the free version of everything and yeah these apps are available on ios and android devices but i do not use a system so i do not have a recommendation for my system users at the moment probably when i start using a system i will do a video on that but for now i hope you did find this video helpful if you did remember to leave a comment like this video and share with someone you think really really needs to see this video video and i will catch you up in my next video bye